is a spiritual experience. Introduction Our website www.allaboutheaven.org is a huge database containing examples of classified spiritual experiences. So what is a spiritual experience? It is a view of realms that cannot be experienced with the five senses and can only be experienced by our sixth sense. Science now knows at least 95% of what exists is dark energy, as dark as far as our five senses are concerned. It is as if all our five senses could ever provide us with was a brown world, when all around us, even intermixing with the brown world, were numerous other worlds, pink, red, orange and blue. But we had no idea they were there, because to us they were dark, filtered out. We have a video on this, What is Reality? Some dark energy is unordered, but that which is ordered is called spirit and spiritual experience is the only means by which we will ever know the nature of this energy. To put this another way, if we just rely on our senses, we will have only ever experienced 5% of what exists, and our scientific instruments are designed to be used only with this 5%. Our sixth sense, on the other hand, gives us access to the 95% which has been largely ignored by science, up till now. A spiritual experience does not require or use the five senses. It has nothing to do with religion, nor does it need a religious framework to interpret it. But it challenges the notion that the only reality that exists is the one we can taste, smell, see, touch, or hear. See the video reality. If the experience is extremely profound, it may be called a revelation. And it is the only way in which other realities will ever be known. Even theoretical physicists recognise that to understand quantum physics requires a study of dark matter and dark energy, spirit. Thus, spiritual experience is as key to the scientist as it is to a non-scientist. Who has them? You may think that there aren't many people who have these experiences, but you would be wrong. In a study carried out at the Department of Religious Studies at the University of London in 2001, Olga Pupyanin and Simon Brodbeck carried out an original piece of research called Religious Experience in London. They asked passers-by in Trafalgar Square, have you ever had an experience which you could categorise as sacred, religious, spiritual, ecstatic, paranormal or mystical? 65% of those interviewed had had such an experience. In other words, the majority. So, recording and analysing them would seem to be a sensible move. And this 
we have done. The difficulty with dark energy observation. Professor Camille Flammarion, astronomer. Unfortunately, psychic phenomena always come unsought. We wish for them in vain. It is a question of observation and not of experiment, a difference which is almost always forgotten. These phenomena are spontaneous. They are witnessed. They are not deliberately produced. Several professors at the Sorbonne and at the Collège de France are declaring that an occurrence is authentic only if it can be reproduced in a laboratory. Such reasoning is absolutely fallacious. We cannot reproduce experimentally a shooting star, an aerolite, a storm, an electrical disturbance, or a sunspot. The impossibility of authenticating a metaphysical occurrence, however, does not justify us in denying that it actually took place. The solution. We cannot do experiments, but there is an alternative approach. It was described by Richard Wakeley and is called the Law of Evidence in 1865. When many coincide in their testimony, where no previous concert can have taken place, the probability resulting from this concurrence does not rest upon the supposed veracity of each considered separately, but on the improbability of such an agreement taking place by chance. For though in such a case each of the witnesses should be unworthy of credit, still the chances would be infinite against their all agreeing in the same falsehood. And so we have collected thousands and thousands and thousands of observations, nearly all from sources who are not seeking an experience, but nonetheless obtained one. The www.allaboutheaven.org website All our YouTube channels are based on the database we collected of these spiritual experiences. And the instructions for how to find your way round the site are provided by the videos in the playlist Navigating Your Way Round our website. Mm -hmm.